karibu tena hapa Flood FX na kipindi ambacho kilipita tuliweza kuelezea jinsi ambavyo unaweza kaanza uh, biashara ya forex na nilikuelekeza vizuri kabisa nikakupa vitu ambavyo vitakusaidia wewe especially ambaye bado hujaanza forex nilikuwa naongea na beginners kuhusiana na swala hilo na leo ujumbe ni tofauti kidogo uh, nimekuja na tabia ambazo pengine zinaweza zikafanya wewe ukafeli uh, ukawa haufai kufanya biashara ya forex ni neno uh, kali lakini naomba tuvumiliane tu pengine ukali wake unaweza ukakusaidia wewe kuepukana na hizi tabia ni tabia ambazo mtu yoyote yule ambaye anazo inakuwa ni vigumu sana 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 kufanikiwa katika biashara hii yenye utajiri mkubwa zaidi duniani. Kwa majina naitwa Flood FX na kukumbusha ambaye bado ya subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment and share ili uweze kuwa karibu zaidi na mimi. Ha, kuna msemo mmoja unasema kwamba kwamba uh, forex is not for everyone. Nadhani uh, wale ambao wamepita pita kwenye vitabu watakuwa walikutana nao. Uh, misemo kama trend is your friend uh, forex is not for everyone ni misemo ambayo utakutana nayo unapokuwa unasoma vitabu vya forex uh, walivyosema kwamba forex is not for everyone yani uh, forex sio kwa kila mtu okay sio kwa kwa kila mtu yani forex sio kwa kila mtu walikuwa na maana yao it means kwamba kuna watu ambao waki, waki, wana tabia fulani na kuna watu ambao wana tabia fulani. So tabia zinatofautiana and that's why kuna kuja kuwa na utofauti wa kwamba kuna watu ambao forex itawafaa zaidi na kuna watu ambao forex haitawafaa zaidi. Ha? Uh, na ukweli ni kwamba sikukatishi tamaa lakini najaribu kukwambia ukweli kwamba kuna tabia ambazo zitakufanya ufeli katika biashara ya forex. Uh, pengine una Una, una, unaitaji kuzifahamu tabia hizo na pengine tayari unafahamu wewe uko vipi and therefore nategemea mwisho wa video hii utakuwa umefahamu uko sehemu gani na ni tabia gani ambazo pengine unazo unatokuwa uziache na pengine unazo unatakiwa uzi strengthen zaidi ili zije zikusaidie siku moja katika biashara ya forex uh, kabla ya hapo nakukumbusha tena kusubscribe lakini uh, tabia ya kwanza kabisa ambayo 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 uh, itakufanya ufeli katika biashara yako ya forex ni tamaa hmm? tamaa mbele mauti nyuma si ndo wanasema wanasema hivyo eh, katika Kiswahili so tamaa mbele mauti nyuma and therefore tamaa ni moja ya vitu ambavyo vinaweza vikakusababisha wewe uh, uka, ukawa na mwenendo mbaya katika biashara ya forex kwa mfano um, pengine umeweka trade pengine uh, umeona ume, ume zimefika dola kumi uh, then ukafungua oda nyingine hiyo ukafunga hiyo hiyo shafunga then uh, uka, uka, la, trading plan yako ni dola 20 kwa siku uh, umepata kumi, una unakula una, una, una unaweka oda una, una, unapata dola kumi. okay tayari maana yake zimefika 20 ila kwa sababu unatamaa sasa na umeona hizo oda mbili umekula maybe kwa lot size ya 0.1 uh, we kwa sababu unatamaa sasa unasema ya yeah, no 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 this is not enough unaongeza ile lot size unaweka lot size moja unaweka oda ili pengine uh, ukila kama ambavyo umekula hizo oda mbili iweze kuwa uh, amount kubwa zaidi pesa kubwa zaidi ambacho kinatokea soko litaenda kinyume na wewe pengine na hicho kinaweza kikapelekea wewe uka 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 uka, uka blow your account ukaunguza account uh, hii, hii ni tamaa kwa sababu gani hii ni tamaa kwa sababu kitu ambacho ulijiwekea wewe kama trading plan yako kwamba utakuwa unakula dola 20 uh, maximum dola 20 per day zimefika ila bado wewe ukawa unahitaji kuendelea kuzimatiprize zaidi ya hapo hiyo ni tamaa na tamaa zaidi inakuja hii inazidi kuwa tamaa zaidi kwa sababu hata lot size yenyewe uliongeza na ukazani kwamba kwa sababu hizo oda mbili umekula chap chapu pengine hata hiyo ya tatu utakula chap chap tamani moja ya kitu ambacho kitakuwa affect zaidi ni tabia ambayo ukiwa nayo naomba ujaribu ku control lakini tabia ya pili ni kwamba mtu ambaye hataki kujifunza eh, asiyetaka kujifunza mtu ambaye 
ataki kujifunza kila siku forex pengine inaweza kawa biashara ngumu zaidi usijifanye unajua kila kitu uh, forex traders mara nyingi tunakutana kwenye magroups tunakutana katika social networks tunakutana sehemu zingine seminar uh, seminar mbalimbali mbali zinazohusiana na forex jaribu kuwa mtu ambaye unataka kujifunza usijione kwamba wewe kikapu chako kimeja uh, Kiyosaki Robert Kiyosaki aliwahi ali, ali kuandika katika kitabu chake uh, kwamba Never ever think that your cup is full. Usije hata siku moja ukaamini kwamba kikombe chako kipo full, kimejaa. That means kwamba usije ukaamini hata siku moja kwamba knowledge ulionayo wewe basi ndio knowledge ambayo itakusaidia katika maisha yako. Na katika maisha yetu ya kila siku this is not only in forex. Hii haipo katika forex lakini pia katika maisha yetu. Usije ukaamini kwamba wewe kikombe chako kimejaa usije ukaamini kwamba knowledge ulionayo inakutosha wewe no 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 knowledge ya 2000 na, na ya mwaka 2019 na ni knowledge tofauti tofauti that's why hata uh, aliyesomea uh, sheria lazima endelee kusoma ili awe updated na this knowledge ambayo ni current knowledge knowledge can be constant but it varies with time Okay. Therefore lazima uwe mtu ambaye kila siku kila siku unajifunza kitu kipya. Uh, ukisikia kuna seminar fulani basi nenda usi, usiseme kwamba no. I know everything in forex and this and this. No 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 no. Asiyetaka kujifunza huyo ni mtu ambaye aweze akafanikiwa. Na especially ambao ndio ambao wanaingia kwenye biashara ya forex, kafundishwa wiki moja eti tayari kaona kwamba mimi niko full. No 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 no. Ambaye 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 anakuwa na tabia kama hii I'm telling you more than 90% itakuwa ni vigumu sana kufanikiwa katika biashara hii. Especially beginners ambao wameanza juzi kati pengine na miezi mitatu tayari anaona kwamba my cup is full. That is not true. Unaweza ukasoma hicho kitabu cha Robert Kiyosaki na I think unaweza uka 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 ukafaidika zaidi zaidi mailishi dadi series itakusaidia sana na uh, hii ni biashara and therefore apart from forex tunajaribu kupeana uh, short about uh, vitu ambavyo vitakusaidia wewe apart from forex lakini katika biashara zingine because forex ni biashara pia uh, kitu cha tatu mtu ambaye ana tabia ya uh, hana uvumilivu yani asiye uh, mvumilivu pengine inaweza kawa ni, 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 ni kazi kubwa sana unajua kwa sababu gani kwa sababu i believe about more than 8% ya forex traders wamewahi kupunguza account zao na kama sio account basi kaweka account kubwa unakuta kale kali wata dola 500 this is really kwa sababu um, uh, juma ambayo ilikuwa juma ya kwanza ya mwezi huu mwezi wa ne one of uh, mtu ambaye pia ni inspire the great man in short na wengi mtakuwa mnamfahamu ali aliweza huyu uh, nadhani anaweza kawa one ka, uh, yupo kwenye top 3 ya forex traders ambao alianza Tanzania uh, yeye aliweza kuifahamu alivyoenda south so he is 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 uh, one of the guys ambao amepitia vingi sana na anakuambia uh, kwamba yeye ameunguza account tatu uh, denye dola 500 hiyo ikiwa zaidi ya milioni moja na laki tano okay milioni uh, no, no 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 that is more than uh, 3 millions okay uh, ukipeleka kitanzania so that is more than 3 millions kazipoteza hapo uh, mwanzo lakini this is not true kwa wengine wote it means alipokuwa anaanza alikuwa hajui lakini yeye alifundishwa kidogo tu akaamini ame ame amekuwa expert and therefore akaingia kwenye biashara lakini uvumilivu ndio ambao umemfanya mpaka leo hii is one of the millionaires anaingiza pesa kubwa tu anaingiza pesa tumeliwa wengi even myself nimeunguza mi, um, account um, mwanzo kabisa mara moja nilivyokuwa naanza but nikakaa nikajiset nikarudi Mnaelewa eh nilivyorud things were good. And therefore lazima uwe mvumilivu. Yaani usije ukaweka pesa. Uh, wengi unajua tuna tunakurupuka eh. Tunaingia. Yaani unafundishwa kidogo unaona laki like, mbona anachelewa kuweka hela za ukweli hapa mi demo nimechoka. Sababu demo una trade tu, you know. Uwezo uka, uka, uka control your psychology of trading kwa kutumia demo. That's why pia Uh, sometimes mimi nawashauri watu watumie live center account wale wa temporary fix akitumia live center account it means kuwa atakaa kwenye soko kwa muda mrefu sawa 
ana trade kwa sababu live center account it means ile 1 dollar una convert na kwa 100 dollars. Kwa hiyo unaingiza uh, dola 100 kumbe ni dola moja. Kwa hiyo inakuwa ni account ambayo ni ngumu sana kuichoma ku, 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 lakini pia ni ngumu sana wewe kuingiza faida kwa sababu ni pesa za ukweli utaendelea kuwa una trade. Sijui kama unanielewa. Therefore sometimes inakuwa vizuri. Unaweza kuweka hata dola mbili au dola tatu dola nne kwenye live center account kwa sababu haina limitation unaanza ku trade taratibu taratibu taratibu. Lazima uwe mvumilivu kwenye biashara ya forex. Kuna vingi tunapitia mpaka tumefikia hapa. Uh, kitu kingine lazima uwe ready to take risk. Lazima uwe tayari uh, kukubaliana na hatari zozote zile ambazo zitatokea katika biashara yako. It is not true that kwamba kila siku wewe utakuwa katika faida. Hiyo sio kweli. Na, na hivyo basi lazima usome about risk management. Lazima uwe tayari ku take risk. Kuingia katika biashara ya forex tayari yu una moyo ambao ni mgumu upo tayari ku take risk. And therefore lazima pia uelewe vizuri risk management. Lazima ufahamu kwamba upo katika pesa ambayo umeiweka katika live account upo tayari ku lose kiasi gani cha pesa kwa kila order lazima ufahamu kwamba there is risk and therefore lazima ujue ku manage risk kama ukiingia katika forex na tabia ya kwamba you are not ready to lose money uki lose money una panic unapata asida and know that i think hiyo uh, tabia sio nzuri katika biashara ya forex yeah, na na itakukost itakukost tabia hiyo sio nzuri so that was one of the of the of the of the of the very very essential parts of forex tabia ambazo zingine zinaweza zikakufanya wewe ukashindwa kufanikiwa katika biashara so this was prepared by Fred FX one of the forex traders in TZ so endelea kunifuatilia hapa hapa kuweza kufahamu mengi zaidi edio 12 theory inaendelea but i gave you conditions nilikwambia zikifika 50 likes nitaendelea nayo so i'm waiting for you endelea ku watch edio 12 theory kama hujaiangalia i will put it here down uh, 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 lakini pia utaipata kupitia www.forex255.com kom ukienda utaiona katika pages za mwanzoni kabisa au utaiona katika pages za mwanzoni area 12 theory part 1 nimekuelekeza kitu ambacho ni kirefu zaidi na from what i have explained nimebaki kitu kidogo uh, japokuwa tutajaribu tuta, 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 kuicover everything ni advanced area 12 theory it is not basic kwa hiyo uh, itakuwa ni ndefu kidogo and therefore endelea Uh, kunifuatilia like comment share ili watu wengi zaidi waweze ku like pale na wakifika msini nitaenda sehemu ya pili kama watafika 50 likes sorry sita enda kipengele cha pili Asante sana kwa kunisikiliza may god bless you keep working hard endelea kufanya kazi kwa bidii uh, fanya kile ambacho unakiamini endelea kuamini kile ambacho pengine kwako unaamini ni treasure kwako endelea kufanya unachokipenda don't do something that your heart doesn't like kama moyo wako haupendi kile unachokifanya you are wrong you are wrong utakufa na pressure do what you like do what uh, makes you happy Endelea kutafuta pesa this is one of the way kupata pesa South Africans young uh, millionaires wengi wanafanya biashara ya forex keep on keep on learning jifunze vitu vipya kila siku endelea kuwa na knowledge i'm telling you knowledge brings about skills and skills pays you okay skill inakulipa a knowledge is the basis of uh, the basic of Uh, what you'll be tomorrow asante sana kwa kunisikiliza naitwa Flood FX inspirational speaker forex trader businessman but also still a student okay <laughs> asante kwa kunisikiliza may god bless you love you all